Alex Bowman defends Kyle Busch, M&M's puts on a contest to pick the throwback scheme, and David Reagan adds another race. All that and more coming up next. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? If I haven't earned your subscription, hopefully today is the day I will earn that subscription. All right, we just went over 4,000, and man, I really, really can't express how much I appreciate that. Like, if you guys saw how this thing started out, like, I never thought I would have gotten to 100, much less now 4,000. Like, this is just beyond anything I can even uh, put into words. Uh, but I would like to do something special like last last time we hit a big milestone. I did a Q&A So if you guys want to do a Q&A just I uh, leave all your questions in the comments all throughout this week And I'll, I'll get I'll collect all the questions and do my best to answer them in a future episode uh, But before we get to that there is one thing I wanted to do uh, for all uh, for a lot of people that have asked this question Why is this channel called baloney burger? Uh, well where, where I'm from uh, Orange County South Boston a speedway all of those tracks, regional tracks, have a bologna burger, and they all serve it in a very unique way. Like South Boston is onions and green peppers uh, and mustard and cheese. Uh, Orange County typically is uh, fried onions and mustard, yellow mustard. And Ace does the, uh, I think Ace does cheese, peppers... I think, I think they do cheese, peppers, and, and mustard, too. I'm not exactly sure exactly how Ace does theirs. But each each region has, like, a little different way of doing it. Uh, but, uh, and the most famous person uh, to, like, put this on the map was sort of er El Elliot Sadler, back when he was racing late models. He won a contest. This is, uh, you know, hearsay and rumor and all that. But he won a contest for eating the most bologna burgers, and it was some insane number, like 20 or something like that, 25 maybe. I don't know. He did some insane amount of eating bologna burgers. So Elliot Sadler, uh, to my knowledge, has the record for most bologna burgers eaten at either South Boston or Orange County. I can't remember who did the uh, contest there. But, uh, yeah, so that is why the channel is named Bologna Burger, because when I went to the local short tracks, uh, everybody was like, we got to get a Bologna Burger, because that was sort of like your staple. Like, you go to a baseball game or something, you get a hot dog, you go to Martinsville, you get those red hot dogs. Uh, where, I, where, I, where I'm from, you went there, and you got a Bologna Burger, so uh, that's our thing. And I've heard from some of you that some of you these other regions have their own take on the Bologna Burger. Uh, I've heard that Kentucky Speedway has one of the best Bologna Burgers you can get, so... Uh, if, if your track has a specialty food or something like that, or has a special take on the bologna burger itself, uh, leave it down in the comments. I'd love to know that. I might figure out some way to do some type of special version of that in a future show. So Alex Bowman went on Sirius Radio, and he addressed the Kyle Busch comments, and he actually sort of stuck up for Kyle Busch. Here's what he had to say. I talked to Kyle Monday night. He was just mad that he lost the race. He wasn't mad at me, Bowman said during his March 9th appearance. I didn't do anything to him. Kyle and I have always raced each other with respect. He was just mad that he lost the race, and I was the one at the other end of the rant. Obviously, Kyle's really passionate, and we've seen that from him for a long time. I was in the fire on that one, but he basically said he was just mad losing the race and didn't mean to be so disrespectful to me. Alex Bowman, of course, also launched a t-shirt that says, All Luck and No Skill, and 18% of those proceeds go to uh, help animals uh, be adopted and, and things like that. So he's taken this uh, sort of negative thing and turned it into a positive. And of course, the 18% uh, being a reference to Kyle Busch's number. So he's having a little fun with it. And it seems like these two guys have put it behind them. Uh, so no harm, no foul. So that's really cool. But speaking of Kyle Busch, M&M's is putting on a contest. Uh, you can go and vote at M&M's.com. Uh, or go to Twitter or wherever, just wherever they're having it, uh, wherever you follow M&M's or Kyle Busch, uh, you can go vote for what you want to be the throwback scheme, and it's a few different throwback schemes. It's sort of the old uh, Ken Schrader look is, is one of them. You got the Elliot Sather look is one of them, and you got uh, at least one of Kyle Busch's old uh, throwbacks as well. So you've got a uh, litany of M&M's cars to choose from, so pick which one's your favorite, and that is what he will race at the Darlington Throwback Race. So a good uh, little contest from M&M's there to celebrate their long history with NASCAR. Of course, they're getting out at the end of the season, but they've been there for a long time. So uh, this is going to be a cool way to go out, let the fans pick the uh, their favorite throwback for this race. 
And Rick Ware Racing has announced that David Reagan will add an additional race uh, to his already, he's already going to run all the super speedways for him, but he has now added Atlanta. This article from The Heavy, Rick Ware Racing announced news on March 9th and confirmed that David Reagan will return to the number 15 Ford Mustang for the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500 at Atlanta Motor Speedway on March 20th, 3.30 Eastern Time on Fox. He will have Select Blinds as his primary sponsor once again after working with the company in the Daytona 500. Fireball, an F3 fluorine-free foam firefighting agent, will join the number 15 team as an associate partner as well. So good to see David Reagan getting another start uh, for Rick Ware. Hopefully he has uh, really good success just like he normally does at restrictor plate tracks. Hopefully that translate to it, translates to Atlanta, which also this year will probably be like a restrictor plate track. All right, that is all I've got for you. If you've got a comment, leave it down in the comment section. If you like the content, feel free to subscribe down below as we push to 5,000. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.